all right guys welcome back to another class mm -hmm. all right today we are going to be studying uh, a keypad phone which is techno t525 right here and it only has the schematic uh, layout and the schematic diagram all right so this is the layout this is how the layout looks like the front of the keypad phone this is how it looks like all right this is the front side and this is the back side the back side where all the components are okay the cpu everything this is the back side okay so that is how the layout always look like but there is no uh, guideline like the android phone where you will see a line going here and come here it's not on keypad phones on the schematic so the schematic diagrams that will help you to trace where the problems are for example uh, let's assume in this phone is having a speaker problem okay you know we have the speaker that is up we have a speaker that is down all right so the upper speaker and the lower speaker so what we are going to do now is all right we'll go to the schematic all right this is how schematic look like and all the sections are written there all right this section right here you see this small section here is vibrator okay you have different sections on the schematic uh, diagram all right this one you see these ones these ones are ic and these are mt6261 that's the ic right there you should know how to read and study all these lines look at the sim side you always see they write the names all right this is sim sim one sim two okay so uh here serial flash that's the uh, memory on that phone okay we have PA plus switch, different different sections, Bluetooth and FM radio, all right, Bluetooth and FM radio right there, and the keypad section. I I, I think I showed you this one, uh, previous video, white backlight, side view backlight, all right. They are all in sections right there. We are going to go to the speaker. You see, this is headset and digital audio. This is receiver, okay. This is speaker, right? You see how here right and on this side we have speaker left all right so when we go a little bit down we have the upper speaker and we have the lower speaker right here so i'm going to teach you how to troubleshoot speaker problem on this phone okay all right so the first thing is to locate where those speakers are so if you're having the phone with you physically you can just look at the diagram and compare with each other all right so first let's examine how the upper speaker looks like where the connector is on the pcb layout okay you can see right here bl901 bl900 these are the points where the speakers are connected to all right so now if you want to know where these are if this speaker is having a problem okay all you need to do is to copy this link you see this bl 901 okay you double click it like this okay once you double click it this blue stuff are light on it okay that means you have copied it so you have copied this track then you go to the schematic tool here and press and right click on your mouse and press paste okay once you press paste all right it will paste that uh that terminal here and you are going to press search Okay, once you press search, this two stuff will show all from here. That means having two of these results. So the first one, I'm going to double click on the first result. And the first result brought me here. So that means this is the point that was that was here. You remember this is where the speaker, the uh, upper speaker is. Okay, so now this is where it starts from. All right, this is it. All right so on this test point we have along the way we have dialed okay so if you want to know where this for example if this speaker is not working that means you see these lines as it's going like this you have to troubleshoot okay you have to troubleshoot now from here from that bl test point right here is going to the speaker negative you see loud speaker n uh, zero right here this n means negative and the upper one here means positive you know the speakers as two uh, uh legs that connects to the pcb so you will look for all these 
um, this line and on this line all right there is a diode there is a capacitor all right if you want to know where this diode is all right on that pcb so that you can take your readings on this diode if this diode is fine just double click on this like this it will highlight this blue stuff then you come okay to the layout okay to the layout you come to the layout you come to this search bar uh, this search bar then you right click with your mouse and press paste once you press paste you press search what you are looking for is the diode all right once you press search this uh, result comes out you double click on this result okay then you zoom in it's always very closer somewhere closer so let's do this okay now this is the diode right here all right this is the diode i'm trying to zoom in this is the diode right here okay this is the diode right here you can see it's having a thick uh stuff right here so this is the diode so you take your reading on this diode if this diode is bad you replace it if it's good you leave it you keep troubleshooting all right so now the next thing that there is there is the capacitor okay this is the capacitor all right so if you want to know where this capacitor are it's always closer to this and they are on the same line so you double click this uh c902 once you double click it it copies it automatically then you go to the layout okay then you press on this search button you right click with your mouse and press paste once you press paste you search okay you zoom in okay you zoom in after you zoom in then you click this then this comes out all right that is c902 as you can see c902 that's the next capacitor next to this diode that's how to take uh that's how to make uh take your readings all right